Good morning guys! It is my morning so it's good morning for me but hello to you wherever you are. How are you doing? How are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I literally can't take my serious myself seriously with my hair like this right now but I hope you are well. I'm really excited for today's video. It's not going to be a super, super long one, but I thought it would be a good one to film because a lot of you have been leaving me comments down below since the video where I basically shared everything I love and use as a now redhead, which I'll link that video below. But I talked a lot about my hair extensions, my clip-in hair extensions, and so many of you were like, I bought some hair extensions or I bought one of the shades because I recently gone auburn, copper, and I'm really excited for you guys to get your hair in the mail and get to try it out. But because of that, I thought it would be fun to do a little clip-in hair extension tutorial for when you're wanting to wear your hair half up and half down. I was gonna say too, if you would like a video for how I just install my clip-ins regularly, let me know down below. But I thought I would do something a bit more, I don't know, interesting. Sometimes harder to wrap your head around if you're a new clip-in extension wearer is just how to place them so that you can put your hair up like this and you know not pull your hair and hurt your head or anything. So I'm gonna take all my hair and we are going to put it in and style it. I waved my hair yesterday and went to bed and that is why she looks a little insane. So if you're interested in learning how to place your clip-in extension so that you can wear it half up and half down and not hurt your hair or pull your hair, then keep watching. Okay, so I have a lot of leftover product in my hair from yesterday because I went on a date night with my husband and I wore my hair wavy, which is so cute. But before I style it, I want to kind of add some moisture back to my hair. So I'm just going to take my Olaplex number no. 7 to do that. This also has heat protectant. It also protects your hair from the sun as well, which is amazing especially in the summer and I have this linked on my Amazon storefront by the way I love Olaplex number no. seven it's great as well as argan oil by Unite as well which is also linked and I have a code with them but just using something whether that's Moroccan oil Olaplex Unite getting something to kind of make sure you can run your fingers loosely and easily through your hair if it's been pre-styled like mine. All right, so I just went through and I brushed out my hair. I was able to do that without causing too much damage to my hair just because we applied um, a little oil to it, which is the best part about doing that. So always highly recommend doing that. Now my hair's a bit fluffier, which is kind of fun. So when I put my clip-ins in, I'm also gonna brush them out too. Now I'm just gonna take some of my Moroccan oil dry shampoo and just put some of that around my roots. Okay, so now that our hair is prepped and ready, what we are first going to do, when you are doing a hair look like this, let's make sure my hair is kind of brushed back, just so it's easy. Hello, seagulls. And what I'll do is I will section off the hair that is gonna be like on my top ponytail. So usually for me, I just take my fingers right at my temples and I just slide them back. And then I just pull out the hair. And then I just get left with an amount of hair that looks like this. As you can see, it's just this top section of hair. And what I'll do is I will just pin that up and out of the way and we won't worry about that right now. So now that this is out of the way, we can begin worrying about the hair we want to clip into this back section to add volume and length. So I'm going to take my two three clips so in the bellamy pack you get two of the three clips which by the way again these are the 18 inch strawberry dream bellamy clip-in extensions i have a code if you do end up buying um, for 10% off just so you can save a little bit of money um so what i usually will do is i will start by taking a horseshoe as an around shape for my first parting so kind of right above my ears i'll take my fingers, I hope you can see that, and dip under in a half circle. It's not going to be perfect, but something like that. And that's where my first clip is going to go. Now that that is pinned up, I can take my clip and I can clip it in, starting in the center. Just like that. And if I pull that forward, I could brush it through with my hair. And we've got our first hair in. So now we're gonna repeat the exact same thing right above it. So I'm gonna let this hair down and take my fingers and do a horseshoe shape right above 
the other section and then pin this up. I'm gonna grab my three clip and begin placing her in here. Okay, and then I can take out this hair and just brush it over it. And as you can see, yeah, no extensions are showing. Sorry, my hair is very fluffy. But yeah, I've got no extensions showing anywhere. So now that this part is all done, we are going to take the two two clips because they're smaller and we're gonna put them in this section to help this ponytail be a bit longer and thicker so what we are first going to do is place one in here so what I'm gonna do is I have my parting and I'm gonna take my fingers and section a piece like this so this is part of our ponytail and you can see we've got the front piece, but we also have this little section. Okay, so what I will do is I will clip this. We don't wanna lose that. And then I'm gonna clip this out of the way. Guys, I know this is a bit confusing, but this is what I wanna show you. So this will be part of our ponytail. And what we will do is this will sit somewhere like this, right? When we have it up in the ponytail. So what we will do is we will take one of those two clips i'm gonna brush it out and we will place it right there so that it's going the same direction and that way it doesn't pull and it kind of just like lines up with the parting where our ponytail will go and it just keeps everything well i look like a unicorn it keeps everything kind of consistent heading the same direction and not hurting us okay so now that we've got this one in there we're going to do one more section so we'll take my fingers and begin parting the next section back so you can lay that and then I cannot see a freaking thing. Okay, that's super crooked. Is that better? Okay, yep, that's better. So then I'm gonna add that to this clip and we can take our second two clip and clip it backwards. So the biggest thing when you're clipping in extensions is that you're just getting it the direction in which it's gonna be pulled. Like it wouldn't be good to be placing this this way, for instance, because then it would be pulling it backwards and that would hurt. So we just basically do it in line with what's already going on. Okay, so now we've got everything. Let me grab it all. All right, so now we've got a ponytail that's looking something like that and nothing is pulling me because it's all clipped in the way that my hair is like going anyway. So I'm just gonna begin smoothing this out. And so for now, we're just gonna secure that now that it's smooth. I just like to use these like softy little elastics. I have a bunch on my Amazon storefront. I feel like they hold my hair without pulling it too tight. So we're gonna secure that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna take a little hairspray. This is Colt Favorite by Color Wow. Um, it's a great hairspray and just kind of spray the front. I'm just gonna show you before we continue on how you can't see any clip-ins in here. It's so disguised. This is so flat as well. And there's just like, no one would ever know. And this is so cute and you could keep your hair like this. You could put some hair around your hairband, but I thought it would be cute to do a little bubble braid so we're gonna do that so all you have to do for that is grab take a section about that big and just take these tiny little elastics which i will have linked on my storefront by the way and you just begin wrapping it around pulling and then there's one bubble okay we're gonna continue down Okay, so now we're just gonna spray that. And you kinda can just keep pulling it apart to wherever you fancy. It's gonna spray a little texture spray. 
All right, you guys, literally look how cute she is. Ah, I love his hairstyle. It's so fun for like a party, going out, back to school, if you're feeling like you wanna do something a little bit extra. And honestly, it's so easy, the hairstyle aside from the clip-ins, but I hope that was helpful to learn like how you can do clip-ins in a half up, half down, and how to kind of like separate out the hair when you get a pack and like what clips to put where. And it's just so easy and I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a comment down below of what other tutorials you would like or extension tutorials you would like and thank you so much for watching it i hope you enjoyed and i believe that you guys will be able to make the cutest hairstyles in your clip-ins and i just love clip-in hair extensions sometimes too because it just adds that volume and like that thickness for a hairstyle like that that my finer hair just does not have otherwise so i'll see you guys in my next video Sending you all my love. I'll see you later. Bye.